Well, it's been a little while since I made a video, and um, I've been pretty busy. It's not that, uh, that I've been sitting around much. Um, of course, this is my marigolds. I love planting these around the porch every year, and uh, they're doing pretty good this year. We've had a lot of rain this year, so that's really helped. But uh, kind of getting back to my roots, I like to tinker in my uh, garage, and uh, that's what I used to do years ago uh, before I became a flint napper and everything else. And I'm kind of getting back to that now. And my neighbor was throwing some stuff out here just recently, and I've been fixing it all up and keeping it. This is the first thing that I decided to uh, do a little renovation on. I wonder how many of you guys remember using these things. It's an old Rio mower. And I'll tell you what, they still work great. Got this all cleaned up, sharpened up, painted up, and as you can see, blades work pretty good on it. Well, that was uh, the first thing that my neighbor threw out. Uh, a little while later, he uh, had another cool thing out there. I don't know how many of you guys have ever seen these, but this is a Planet Junior um, cultivator. Uh, I looked it up, the serial numbers and stuff. That's a 1951 um, Briggs engine on there. Now I worked two solid days on this thing, going through the points and condenser and all that. And I got this thing running pretty good. Now let's see if we can start this while I uh, while I do some filming here. We'll see how it goes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Let's try her again here. All right, it looks like we're gonna start now. Maybe not. Oh, I think I flooded it. I'm good at that. There we go. She purrs like a kitten. And the way to make this go is you just kind of pull on this lever here. That tightens that pulley. That makes it want to go. A lot of fun. I love these old pieces of uh, garden equipment. And uh, this old Planet Junior, I think she's ready to go. Now I even have a one bottom plow that he threw out that goes on the bottom. Pretty impressive piece of old machinery. Love this stuff. Anyway, so just when you think that uh, I had enough, I ended up finding this along the roadside and I brought this home. This is a 1972 wheel horse Commando 800. Now I've been looking for an old wheel horse tractor for a while. Well, 1972 was a good year for me because that's the year I graduated from high school. Kind of gives you an idea how old I am. And uh, I got this tractor. It had a mower deck. I just took that off and sold that to another guy. I basically wanted the tractor. And uh, I did a lot of work on this. I even made the little plastic guard over the, the headlights there because the one that was on there was broken. So I tried to make this out of plexiglass and get it close as I could to the original and cleaned it up a little bit. It was all gunky. It's got an eight horse Kohler engine on it. And I'm here to tell you, this is a running machine here. Check this out. We'll give this a start here. Oops. Fires right up. Now that old eight horse Kohler, Kicks them right off. Let's check out these lights.
So as you can see, I've been pretty busy uh, tinkering with this and that, and uh, so far everything's coming out pretty good. Uh, I like old equipment, and uh, I did upgrade a little bit. I picked up this Chevy truck here. That's uh, something I've had a couple months now. I got that. Um, it's a 2014, but it looks like a brand new truck, and it drives like a brand new truck. I love that truck. But uh, I'm always busy here at the man cave. As you can see, we're right here in the front of the man cave. It still stands, believe it or not. I always wonder when I'm going to come out here and she's flat on the ground. Hopefully it'll be a while yet, because I sure enjoy my time that I get to spend out here. So here's a look at the three things that I've been tinkering with lately. So just wanted to update you that uh, Paleo Man is still a very busy person, even though he's not doing much flint napping. Anything else comes up that's cool, I'll be sure to get back and share it with you. Thanks for watching.